Hi everybody, today is December 12th, so that means it's 13 days until Christmas. Anytime in numerology the numbers are repeated, those are associated in spirituality with open portals. When you uh, hear about 1111, like November 11, 1111 at night, 1111 during the day, those are opportunities for us to go into an open door that goes into another reality, into another space, into a new possibility. So today is 12-12. Uh, so the portals are open and the energy of the day, it's uh, the number one, it's for beginnings, and the number two is for cooperation, uh, relationships. Also, um, cooperating with each other and asking for miracles, asking God, the universe, or whoever uh, deity it is that you uh, believe on, or also uh, to ask for cooperation from your uh, partner, either in business or in life, a friend of yours, anyone in your family, it could be your mother, father, son, daughter, um, anyone that you need cooperation, today is a good day to ask for it. So anytime uh, that you see dates like that, the, the numbers are repeated, but especially when uh, there is two numbers, it's even more powerful. Like uh, the beginning of the year, you know, one, one, whatever the year is. And sometimes adding the number of the year also gives you a one. So we're gonna be in 2021. So that's two, four, five. So 2021, the energy of the, um, year is going to be it's going to be uh, changes the number five is associated with changes and the number uh 2020 uh it should have been for stability which we didn't have we didn't have a stability at all in this year and uh sometimes when the year imposes um stick to it Sometimes it's when we have the hardest time. It's like when people have a, a, a specific uh, purpose in life, it's hard for them to do that. Like um, my son, uh, his life purpose is number six. And number six is for family and harmony. So for him, it's hard to spend time with us, with uh, me and my son. I don't know how he is going to be when he has a family, but for him, it's been hard after he became a teenager to spend time with us. And uh, so what happens when uh, people have the number one? Number one is leadership. Like I said today, uh, there is the energy of the one. So it's leadership, but it is also beginnings. So new beginnings and leadership, that's basically what the energy of the number one is. So if your life path is number one, you already know that you are someone who starts uh, paths ways and shows people how to do things but you are also a leader and being a leader sometimes is hard especially if you are a woman because if you don't have the same opportunities you don't have um, a level of education where you have some kind of knowledge or wisdom then it's harder for you it's easier for men that have uh, number one as a life path than it is for women so like i said number one uh, leadership and beginning Number two is cooperation. It's also a relationship, it's love, it's uh, happiness, it's having someone that um, supports you in anything that you need. So it can be love, it can be partnerships in business, it can be um, associations, it can be uh, buying a property or a new car. It's just cooperation. Anything that you need that that um, needs another person or it needs an association. Today is the day to ask for it, <laughs> right? So um, what do we get out of spirituality? Spirituality has many branches that you can study. So one of them is numerology. The other one is uh, life purposes. The other one is reincarnation. And uh, there is also uh, past lives and um, illumination. So illumination, you can think of Buddha, right? Uh, Buddhaism, because he became illuminated. And what um, becoming illuminated is, is becoming wise, is becoming a person who can understand life and can understand the connection that all of us have 
So when we uh, help an individual or a human being, we are helping ourselves, but we're also helping the collective. So when you do something for someone, you're helping the collective. So the collective, the collective means that you're helping um, us as a chain. So we are a chain that are all connected and those uh, connections uh, go beyond um, culture, racial uh, differences, ethnicities, level of education, backgrounds, uh, social economic status and uh, beliefs. So even that uh, we can be different in all those different aspects, we are still connected to each other. So when you try to communicate with someone, sometimes you're thinking of them and it all happened that the thing you're calling them. The other day I was in my room and I was thinking of Alex, my son, I was thinking of him. And then, so he was in his room, which is across uh, the house. So he came in and he said, mom, did you call me? I said, he, he said, did you call my name? I said, no, but I was thinking of you. So uh, these interactions is what uh, Deepak, Ch Deepak Chopra called being picked up in the field. So what happens is that when you have uh, a tat and you're having an intention with someone or you are uh, strongly thinking about a person and you're not thinking of anything else, the person feels it. They feel that you are calling them. They feel that uh, you need them. They can hear uh, even you calling their name. And uh, that happens sometimes when we're dreaming as well. But uh, it's just uh, for us to open our uh, brain and our heart to a new understanding. And uh, to know that you can always um, double check it, right? When you're thinking to call someone and the person calls you, when uh, you were gonna say something and the person who is with you says it. And this happens a lot in couples. If you've been into a relationship where you have a husband or wife or a significant one where you've been together for a while, you talk at the same time, the this, this same exact words, and you mean to say the same thing. Or when the person says uh, something, you say, oh, I was just gonna say that. Or they say, I was just gonna say that. Or it's like when you pick up the phone and the person tells you, um, well, you beat me, I was just gonna call you, right? So the moment they grab the phone to call you, your phone call comes in. And it's because we have these connections where we connect um, spirituality and it's uh, where our minds are connected and, it, and they are connected through the field. The field is like a satellite that is available to all of us and it doesn't need a signal like the Wi-Fi. It's like we all have an antenna that emits a single and we're able to um, share information with other people that we have close connections or people that feel connected to us in a specific way. Um, and uh, the easiest way someone can connect to us is through love. If someone as admires us or loves us, they can kind of feel our vibe. They can kind of feel our thoughts, our emotions. It happens when you had a relationship with someone and then suddenly they have a dream about you. They dream that you lost your job or that you got sick or they couldn't find you, you know? And suddenly this person starts to get in uh, worry and then they're calling, how are you doing? I had a dream about you, right? So the connections are there. It doesn't matter if we split from the relationship, but the connections that you form with people and the uh, feelings that you have are still active. So uh, when I was studying spirituality, I learned something that amazed me. So um, it was that uh, when you have a sexual relationship with the person, it takes seven years for you to be able to erase the effects and the need to go back to them. So I was thinking uh, that was too long. And the reason I was worried about it is because I was uh, divorced from my husband. And I had only been divorced from him probably three years. And uh, by the time he had um, already, you know, made a life, and then he told me later that he was living to Mexico and getting remarried. So um, when he left and I stayed here and I started today, I thought uh, he will come to my mind constantly. 
And then when I learned about the spirituality that it takes seven days, uh, it made me very conscious of uh, who I want to sleep with and how long does the energy of that person is gonna stay with me. And I don't think it's uh, seven years for everybody. I think it's seven years for someone whom you had a relationship uh, for a long time. I don't think it's the same effect if you only had a one night stand or um, you share a small amount of time with someone a few months or it was only a few times. I think it's different. And the reason why it's different because we're not so invested. The reason why we get so attached and connected to others is when we fall in love, when we have a child, when we uh, have a connection that is physical, is chemical, and it's also so purposeful. So what happens in those cases is that you're attracted to the person physically, you're attracted to the person, to the person emotionally, and you're attracted to the person uh, spirituality. So you have some kind of respect for that person. It happens like uh, you're unable to talk bad about them, even if they harm you, even if they left you, even if uh, they didn't respond the way you would have um, wanted them to respond or they didn't respond in the way where it will have been more beneficial for you and it didn't happen like, like that but at some level we have an understanding that uh, we are here uh, temporarily and some people has um, a small roles in our life and some people has bigger roles and for someone to have a bigger role in our life they don't need to stay in our life for a long time they can be um, in our life for a small amount of time, but it needs to be meaningful. So the people who lives um, clues and who lives um, a mark in your life is the people who you encounter that have minimal really meaningful relationships with you. And who are they? Uh, someone who you had a kid with, someone who you were married, someone you um, one of your kids, those are strong connections. Someone that made you suffer, someone that uh, got you injured, someone that didn't believe in you, someone whom you were afraid of. You were afraid that they will come close to you, possibly harm you, abuse you in any way or kill you. Those are um, our biggest teachers. And uh, the purpose of us going through all those situations is that we learn survival. So it's so what we're doing here, surviving. So uh, all what we do in life every day is survival. When uh, people don't have money and they go to the store and they steal something, it is sad that they will probably be taking a yield. And you're gonna be thinking, uh, well, if you were the owner of the store, you will probably want that people to be taking a yield. Mm. I don't think it's uh, necessary to take people to Yale who steals food, but I do know that there is people who uh, goes beyond stealing. I was working at a um, cafe restaurant a few years ago, and there was one of the servers, she was young, and she told me her mom had a really bad friend who will go to the grocery stores and grab a few items for a dollar, and she, uh, and she will... Uh, get the car filled with about $300 of merchandise and she will be paying less than $20 or somewhere around that. She will go to the self-checkout and she kept on stealing from the store, right? And I understand a lot of money can go off of that. But at these stores that we go are super big and I don't agree with stealing. I just think it is sad that uh, someone will go to jail or get killed because they are stealing food. No, it's, it's a sad situation. So going back to um, our purpose in life and being connected to each other, uh, what I was saying is that all what we do is survival. You know, some people lie, some people cheat, some people leave you, some people um, don't wanna pay your child support. Some people don't wanna share their um, uh, money, you know, basically uh, none of their properties, they don't wanna put you on their will they change their mind at the last minute. And it's all the circumstances that we deal with, right? That sometimes you expected an outcome and it's not what happened. They change their mind on the last minute. Or um, when you had a fight, they changed their mind. And now you're not on the wheel. 
now you are not uh, being benefited. And uh, sometimes situations happen like that, you know, where you were probably the favorite person and after a while uh, there was a tough situation where the, the uh, person who you counted on leaving you something changed their mind and then you're not the beneficiary anymore. And I think I went away from 12.12. I think I explained it to you already and you understand what it is. It's open portals and you're able to ask for the desires of your heart, possibly a miracle and possibly uh, something that you want to see manifested. I like to talk about my background. So this is a lighted city. And um, a couple of days ago, I was looking on social media about the Festival of Lights, and I saw a lot of posts with lights. And uh, what that made me tell is that um, you're able to reflect the light. See, these parts right here that I have, I, I'm able to reflect the light. And why is that? It's because I have makeup, and the makeup is shiny. So when you're able to put... Um, something shiny on your skin, you're able to reflect the light. And the light uh, that we reflect is just a demonstration of the light that we are inside, that we are um, enlightened beings. It's just that we forget. And a part of our journey here on earth is uh, going back to remember. And sometimes we don't remember until we die. And then we go back and we get explained everything again. And we see it all like a game. Oh, I believe it, it was a game. It's like a movie, right? It's like you're playing a character. I admire uh, people who are actors and actresses because I feel in a way they're able to live different lives in one lifetime. Because each time they play a character and they go inside into a movie scene, they're able to be someone else or sometime, you know, until the movie is done. And uh, even actors and actresses have a hard time getting rid of the character because they believe it so much, because they live it. They feel that it's real. They feel that it, it happened to them. They feel the love for the other character. And they understand the psychology of the character that they're playing, the feelings, the reasons, and um, the, the way of doing things and what they, why they react the way they react. So we have uh, many beautiful experiences we can get a hold of, but um, ultimately it's up to you. What do you wanna create in your life? What is the movie of your life uh, going to have? And how lighted is gonna be your city, your house, your heart? I pray you'll be all right. Who prays for you? Who do you pray for? Take us to a place. Hide us with your grace. When God wants to protect an individual, he doesn't send an army. He protects them with love. When you want to protect an individual, you need to protect him or her with love. You need to send love. You need to be able to see them the way God sees them. And that is with unconditional love, with kindness. To see them as a beloved child, to have compassion to have understanding of their um, inabilities to be how you would like them to be, to be wise, to be um, mm, enlightened. And um, a lot of times people that we deal with, they don't have, uh, not even just the education, they don't have the understanding, they don't have the comprehension. They decided to forget completely and they don't believe anything that you say. And sometimes they're new souls, but most of the time they're not. They just don't want this lifetime to be mixed with the other lifetimes because they want to achieve, because it is confusing. It is confusing to be living a life and being aware of another life and try to be the angel in both of the lives. 
try to um, rescue you and redirecting you and making sure that this time you're doing what you are supposed to do. And a life can be long and we will have many opportunities to make it right. And there are some things that uh, we haven't made right and we just don't learn to make them right. So we keep coming back to uh, try to make it right. But uh, what I see is that um, our universe, our earth changes so quickly that when we come back, we're either behind or we're either ahead because we come from other planets and we come from a higher understanding. So sometimes we need to experience hard lives and sometimes we need to experience uh, hardships in order for us to get um, that ability to overcome them, you know, because we know once when we're cold, it's uh, the game is over. It's like those video games, you know, the game is over. So um, what do we need to do? Love the people that we love. Have compassion and kindness for uh, people you don't even know their circumstances. Some people uh, don't even talk about the hardships. You know, you don't know when was the last time they ate. You don't know what they had for dinner. You don't know if they even have food in their refrigerator or if they even have a refrigerator. You don't know if they pay the power bill. You don't know uh, how many death, uh, how much death, death they have. And uh, we don't know, right? We don't know what hurts for them. We don't know who uh, they lost that was painful. We don't know how they were treated, especially when they're little. Um, we don't know so much. We don't know about people, you know. Sometimes uh, children that are abused are very shy or sometimes they learn the behavior. So it's, 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 tough. It's, it's tough to judge because you don't know the circumstances. And people who is very kind and they are fine people, they're not gonna go around and tell everybody what happened to them. They just keep it quiet. There are some people like that, you know, they suffer, they cry alone, but they just keep it quiet. They don't share with other people. Well, thank you for watching. I love you. 13 days until Christmas. Yay. We're getting there.